Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. I know two videos in one week. We're going crazy. This is what I wanted to show you guys for a really long time. It would kill me if I did any other video outside of this as my first video back. So today what we have for you guys is our match versus Crazy Raccoon. This is the highlight. This is the peak. This is the highest I have ever reached ever in my Brawl Stars career. We are going up against who I think is the three best players in the game. Saitempo, Tensai, and Moya Goku. Or Gaku. I don't know how to say it. Moya. I just, I'm just, i just going to call him Moya. I'm sorry if you're watching Moya. Um, these guys are insane. They have won Worlds. They won the Worlds before that. They've won the Mid-Season Invitational. And nobody in any region has beaten them in the last two years. So this is something that we really wanted to do. We knew going into the group stage that we had them in our group and we're 0-2 against them. You guys have seen us loosen them at Worlds and loosen them at MSI. So this is kind of like a redemption game. So let's just get into the games. Let's show you guys what happened and let's just talk about it all. So quickly, I'm just gonna go over the draft really quick. I know this isn't like the most entertaining thing, but I just wanna explain it to you guys. So they first pick Crow. Crow scares Sans a lot, so that's that was a pretty funny first pick. They know we like to go tanks. We followed that up with B and Penny, because B and Penny is really good into Crow. They go Poco and Max, because I mean, Poco and Max are really good brawlers. And then we go Sam. So we have something that takes out uh, the Crow, the Max, and the Poco really well in B. We kind of have a mid-range good into everything Penny, and then the run it down tank Sam. You guys are going to notice the Sam gameplay does get kind of wild. Kind of just run in a straight line. But as we hop into the game, which they're not getting into. Come on, let's... There we go. They finally put us into the game. So you guys are going to see, we're just going to literally run in a straight line with the Sam. You know, Sans, he's doing a really good job on the left, just trying to hit every shot. Me, I'm just running in a straight line, and whatever happens, happens. Uh, fortunately, because Sands is hitting a lot of shots and we're doing this really well, we managed to just walk in a straight line and score a goal 15 seconds in. So that was a really good start for us. And we're like, okay, I mean, that worked pretty well. Let's do the same thing. So all three of them stack, which is something that East Asia does a lot against tanks is they stack. So you can deal a lot of damage to the tank really quickly and they can't hurt you. But I think this is a pretty bad decision because we just killed them all and scored in 30 seconds. So we're like, okay, that was weird. We're facing these three best players in the game and we just beat them in 30 seconds that's a pretty weird thing to be honest so we load into the next game all confident stuff is going well and we're like okay we just need one more win to take the set and so we walk up we attempt to do the same thing and this time they put tensai on my lane now i think this is a really good idea because honestly max and crow are both really good into sam but max just gets speed so fast Sands is getting pinched, and Zara is kind of in no man's land right now, so he's kind of in between a lot of things. They get the speed really fast and just run in on us. And exactly what we did to them the last game, they did to us back. So I try and make a play. I go down. Again, Zara kind of caught in no man's land right now, and they get the first goal 30 seconds into the game. Now again, they get another speed. We're thinking about doing the same thing. Sands misses a slow. I'm kind of, you know, just waiting for my opportunity here on the right. Zar uses his super, but he does get pinched by Moya. They stay alive. Sans gets slowed. We're doing our best, but nothing. And they win in a minute. So two really fast games. So things are moving really fast. It's really intense. We're kind of trying to make changes and decisions, all that stuff on the fly. So I'm pretty sure we changed up our strategy. We'll see going into the third game here what changed up because i haven't watched this back in a while so i think someone comes with me yeah so sans and czar trade places and the reason they do that is so sans can kind of like hold my hand walking up this lane i don't really have a better analogy for it but he's kind of just trying to help me out moya has some device issues i guess so he's like kind of standing still i don't know if you saw that on the left and myself and sans were able to take the 2v2 um i actually never even realized that moya was standing still there so that's pretty unfortunate for him, a little bit unlucky. The the device stuff does happen, and I make a bad play over there. I overextend a little bit too much. I leave my teammates back and almost have enough time, but unfortunately, I don't come back. So that goal is probably my fault. And two goals in 30 seconds again. So this game is a crazy one. It's moving at a really fast pace. Sans doing a really good job. I don't know exactly what Tensai was trying to do there. Maybe he was trying to win it. I, I mean, I don't know what he was pushing into. No way he was scoring there. I thought here maybe we could have scored because um, the max wasn't alive and I didn't really think they had the DPS to take us out. So I went a little bit too hard. I think we would have scored if the, my teammates also came, but that could be a communication thing. I didn't call it. 
So right now, we're kind of just battling over the mid. We're able to pull Tensai over there and get the kill. And if I can trade my life for someone else's life, then that's a win every time. Because you guys can see, it's really easy for Sans and Zara to just take care of the mid, hold the mid. They got the penny turret. They got B. And if I can take anyone, especially if it's the max, it should be really, really easy for my teammates to hold it down. So they're doing a really good job in the middle. Again, I'm going in full sending hard. Uh, again, here, I thought maybe we could have scored. We didn't. Not as close as the other one at all. But, you know, again, like I said, I got the trade and it's really easy for Sans and Zar to hold. Well, as easy as it gets versus the best players in the world. So again, Tensai's looking like he's trying to make a play over here. I just throw my glove and just kind of chill out and wait. Pick up the ball. Sans and Zar doing an amazing job on the left side. And here I'm just trying to move up. I notice Sans hit some shots. I notice Moya's not too healthy right now. So I go in from the flank. We're able to get some hits. We're able to get the goal. And that is a one nothing lead for us and then right here we're like czar can you talk a little bit more like i get you're like focused up but can you talk and he's like uh i was talking guys so we realized his mic wasn't working so this is like the third time it's happened and it always happens to czar i guess because czar is just naturally quiet we don't really realize it but his mic just wasn't working the entire time so we had no communication with czar um, so that was a pretty interesting set one. It was pretty fun. Uh, let's move on to set two and show you guys what happened there. So going into set number two here, we are going to be playing on Crystal Arcade. And this, this was probably the most wild but high level set I think I've ever played in. I really, really loved playing in this set. This was the most fun and pro like, I don't know, I've said this just like five seconds ago, but it was literally... Just peak Brawl Stars, I think. It was just skill, micro, just everything to absolute perfection. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of European pros that might be watching this. And they might disagree because they like to keep distance. They like mechanics, stuff like that with range brawlers. But this was just high level, insane Brawl Stars. So we have Penny, which is a Sans one trick. Max, which is a Zara one trick. And Ash, which is one of my new one tricks. Versus Shelly carl and nita so this is a wild game this is a really really wild game the reason they went nita and carl is because those are two really good lanes into ash and two really good lanes into penny so they thought i guess that you know they would have everything covered if they went that they probably didn't expect us to go ash but then we still went ash anyways because we committed we knew against this team that we couldn't stay back and we couldn't play with mechanics because if you're getting in a mechanics battle versus the three best players in the game you're gonna lose so we're running it down. It is probably the worst Ash game I've ever played in my life. Like I'm laning a Shelly in the mid. There's a Carl and on the other side, there's Anita. So it's just a really, really tough Ash game. Sans goes down immediately, which kind of sucks, but I'm able to take out Sai Tempo and he wastes the gadget. So the tr it's kind of like a decent trade off. We also get 10 side to waste the gadget there. So we're actually having a really good start. Uh, Zar Sans do really good work on the left over there. We get sight really low. I probably shouldn't have went that close because he gets me again and I definitely could have played that a little bit better but I mean so far really good uh, work done by Zar. Zar has improved a lot when it comes to gem carrying. It used to only be myself and OG that did the gem carrying but now Zar does it really well on the max. We're able to get a really good play over there on Moya on the left side running up past the bear when he thought we were just going to stand there and take out the bear because I had max speed and ash range or ash rage was a really good play and they're switching lanes they're trying to get the shelly on me they're trying to get obviously the anti-tank in shelly on me but what they i think don't realize is that ash is actually pretty good into shelly you guys saw right there he used a super and a gadget and he wasn't able to get the kill because of my rats nita actually counters shelly way better i mean nita actually counters ash way better than shelly does which i know is really surprising to you guys because you know it's shelly but it does so it's eight five here uh, we're playing this game almost to perfection. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Unfortunately, Sans goes down there again. Um, not the greatest showing from Sans this game, to be honest. But, I mean, we're still in it. 8-7. We're doing alright. Zar gets max speed again. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. So, I'm just going to run past the bear. And I'm just going to run at Moya. I'm able to get the kill there really easily. Sans runs to their gem carrier and gets the kill. So, and Zar's taking out the bear. So, it's like Sight Tempo versus all of us right now. But he does have the super... So they do get the two gems because of sight, but what we get there is positioning of the middle. So, I mean, kind of equal trade-off. Zar with a really good pinch over there gets the kill. 
And here, I mean, again, this is just a crazy, crazy game. The map is now totally wide open, which sucks for me. They have a bear, they have a Carl super. Now we have the gem lead. The only issue here is that, you know, I really need some grass. It doesn't help that site has super. So, I mean, I'm doing what I can, but I can't really do too much. We get the next gem spawn. Luckily though, Sans does get that kill. So we need this next gem. I call switch right here. I still remember that really vividly. I call switch. So Sans kind of moves back and doesn't go for that gem, which we definitely should have went for that gem. So I don't know if that's necessarily my fault or if Sans should have made some type of executive decision uh, and it's his fault, but it's not really about whose fault it is. Kind of just what happened in the situation and not something that you would see if you were just watching this and didn't know that stuff. So, I mean, again, they finally get the, all the gems to their base. Um, I thought we played this game one, like, almost perfectly, and we lost. So, I not I would say upset, but a little bit discouraged, because I was like, wow, we played that to perfection. Lane switches. This is such a hard Ash game. I got some Ash values. Zar played amazing. You know, things went really well. I really thought if we weren't going to win that one, we didn't really have a shot at winning this set. Uh, but with that being said, you know, we hopped into the second one. We still gave it our all. We still tried. I'm moving up the right side here. Again, I'm laning the Shelly. Zara does a really good job of just hitting the Shelly once so I know where it is, which is really, really helpful. I end up just leaving the Shelly and going for Tensai, which I think is a really good decision because Sight kind of wastes his super there. I mean, he gets the kill on me, but... And he breaks the wall, but he only gets like one tick of super back. And Sans also wins his lane this game, which makes a world of difference. I ask Sans to switch lanes, and then I just start running at Moya over there. We get Moya pretty low. Sans gets a kill, and then Moya uses his bear. It's not really the best bear in the world. It kind of pushes me back, but I don't know. It didn't really get the best use in the world. And now we have Penny versus Shelly, which is exactly what we want. I mean, I know... Again, like I said, Nita counters me, but I'm countered already, so we might as well just give Sans an easier matchup. Um, Zar playing, again, really well. You guys didn't see him die with the gems last game. That's something he used to do quite often, so it's pretty nice that he's going without dying the, with the gems now. Uh, Moya playing this really well. He's playing that lane really, really well. It's just really difficult to kind of get up. Zar, again, really good pinch there, and he goes up and he pinches Moya with me. Really amazing job by Zar. Uh, he's definitely carrying this one so far. Sight, you know, he's trying to do what he can. Sans is playing it really well. He just basically completely whiffs that super. And once he whiffs that super, that really gives Sans the opportunity to kind of just push up and do what he can. Really good bear over there by Moya, which has me really backed up. It pinched me really well. I went for Moya. Wasn't able to get the kill, but Zar with a really good max gadget over there. He is able to get the kill and finish it up. And now Sans is like a really nice pocket to put that Penny Mortar in, but he decides to put it a little bit higher just so it can shoot them a little bit easier. Tensai kind of burning gadgets because he just has extra gadgets, not too much to use it on. We get the kill over there on Moya. Sans switches over to the Shelly like we like. We're doing all these switches, all this stuff mid-game when we get max speeds or when Tensai gadgets, and we just try and take advantage of what we can. I get the last gem spawn that we need, and I go back to base. And by this point, you know, there's really nothing they can do. They're one shot. I'm full rage. I go and kill. Well, I try and kill Moya just for the fun of it. Uh, but yeah, that's game two. So again, game one and game two. Really, really intense games. Really high level. And brawlers that, you know, they aren't really boring brawlers. There's always something going on in your screen. So it's, uh, this is a really phenomenal set by both teams. Uh, we go for a lane switch because we think that they're going to lane switch after losing that game. They don't, which kind of sucks, but we get Sans on that right lane against the Shelly, so it could be worse, I guess. They get three gems really early because Zar was trying to pinch my lane, which is really important for him to do. So really bad start for us over here. They're really locking down. Uh, Sans goes down. Nita gets a super, Tensai is a super, and they're playing this to perfection until that. I get a really nice whack over there on Tensai. We get the kill over there on Moya, and there we go. Now we got the position. The gems are split in half, and I don't know. That was kind of a throw a little bit by Tensai over there, but I, I would like to think that was a pretty good ass shot. It's a pretty hard one to hit, so I guess he was just betting that I wasn't going to hit it. Tensai with the gadget up, going aggressive, but... You know, to no avail, Zar just gadgets away. They get a really easy kill. We get some speed, and now, I don't know, I end up going on the Shelly, and then I'm like, oh, wait, the Shelly's there. Sand switch. So we kind of waste that speed over there. We don't get as much value as we would like out of our speeds. 
Um, but we do end up getting that kill. Really good pinch over there. Again, I, I know I've said it a lot of times, but Zara is just playing out of his mind this set. He's doing really, really good. It's a pretty good max game, but that doesn't take anything away from the fact that he's playing it good, you know? Uh, we get Moya to one shot. Zara, really sneaky, gets the kill. Issue is he's already out of gadgets and they have a 6 8 lead, so it's going to be kind of tough for us to get back into it with the gem pickups. Sands goes down, but myself and Zara have pretty good positioning over here. Really good distance control by Moya. Zara gets the speed. We all group up. Tensai tries to go in. Zara gets the kill on sight. And I try and get Tensai. I end up getting him. He wastes his last gadget. I ignore the bear. I chase down Moya. So we get the kill over there. I use my rats and my uh, gadget. So I get some HP back. Get some rage. And now it is 9-9. 10-9 nine, nine. Nine us. We got the speed. Stuff is going down. It's getting crazy. Me and Zara, we go for a pinch here. But I'm not able to get any hits. Moya just holds the wall really well. 10-10. They have all the supers. Sans really aggro mortar. Good speed over there because they were going for me. They got me to one shot, but Sans gets that kill over there. Sight's coming. He's looking scary, but I know he just used his super. So I go up and I try and get Moya because myself and Sans can't die. Then Sight kills Zar. So that was a really risky play because I knew Zar had no gadgets and it wasn't looking good, but I didn't think Sight could get out. He tries his best and, you know, if there's one person in this game that you don't want to leave to try and make a heroic game winning play, it's definitely Sight. But... With that being said, we ended up getting the kill. Uh, eight seconds left. It's getting close. We get Moya to one shot. Sans gets the speed. You guys can see the reactions over there. We were feeling it after that set. We were feeling it. I'm all stressed out. Zara rubbing the nose. Sans, I don't even know what Sans is doing, man. He's just happy. That was the craziest set I swear I've ever played that was just nuts that was just I swear Sans is like praying now I don't know what he's doing but that was insane really high level gameplay uh, that was really fun to watch back honestly because that I don't know I don't know if, how many more sets I'm ever gonna get like that that was just incredible fun but that being said let's move on to the third set which is knockout we hate knockout let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened so for the draft we have meg ruffs and barley they have bonnie penny and lola so this was what i like to call an na outdraft so they banned buzz and daryl because we beat them with two tanks in the first two sets now you guys would be surprised by this but i would say for every for if there are 20 top teams in the world, I would say about four or five of them actually use tanks or actually run tanks at a consistent basis. So it's not something that's really common. It's something that our team can do and can do well. And a lot of teams, that's their weakness is facing tanks. So I guess that's one of Crazy Raccoons. They didn't want to face that. So they end up banning it out. So what that turn, what that happens or what that changes is kind of like now we get to draft just the na meta we're not going for tanks which what we think is their weakness we're just trying to draft the best possible comps so we get meg and dog 2-3 which is just an insane combo because you can just stand there with the dog and make the meg all big and juicy and then they have no thrower so we went barley last and it's like what can they do to the barley i mean sure the bonnie can jump on me but that's really it they can't really do anything else to me so I mean, we're just standing here. We're poking. I know, not the best gameplay that you guys want to see or not the most entertaining. But after that last set, I'm a, we're allowed to have, you know, kind of a boring one. So, again, I'm just trying to get my super. I super out the middle. Just trying to get it low. The goal is for us to wait until the end, get the treats, super the middle, and just do what we can. I end up going down over there, but Zar's doing a really good job on the top. Unfortunately for us, I don't know. We just didn't play this as well as we could have we got really close i mean they have a combined 2k hp but we could have played that a little bit better they take the first round i go back to the left so there's always constant adjustments constant thinking that goes on i think one of the most important things in brawl stars when playing at this level in competitive is being able to adjust being able to do smart things and me personally i am always thinking about what we can do how we can make this better how we can favor ourselves more and honestly i don't know i'm just saying wait until the end i'll use my gadgets because i have three gadgets here which heal us all up 
uh, just be patient, don't give supers, blah blah blah, we can win this. So again, just like last time, we're poking, we're doing our thing. You guys can see can see Zar has almost 8,000 HP. So we have someone with almost 8,000 HP. We have a Barley. We got some dog bags. We should be able to win. So I move over to the right because I'm scared of the Bonnie and I kind of just stand here. And I don't want to use my super this early, but I do. Now remember, I have three gadgets, so I pop one really early just to make sure we're all healed up and stuff. Sight goes for kind of a wild jump. He gets whacked by Zar, so he doesn't live. He goes down uh, and again a really close finish but they take it so in our heads you know I'm trying to think what could we do what could we do and I really you know couldn't think of anything so going into game number two kind of you know the same strategy we're just gonna go up we're gonna do our best um, and just you know we like our comp we think we have out comps so we're like focus up we can win this really easily so Moya over there threatening them on the right and again, I'm on the left. I'm doing my thing. Sans is putting a little bit more attention on Moya over here. Uh, Zar is kind of getting tapped up, which is unfortunate. But Sans is hitting a good amount of shots. So we should be able to get that dog tree early. Tensai is kind of running at me. I am heal Barley with the heal gadget. So as long as I just shoot shots and sit in my gadget and don't take a ton of dan damage, I don't die. New game plan. Give me the bar give me the treat on the Barley and sit here. So as Tensai ran me down... We kind of came to a realization, you know, why? Why am I on the left? You know, sure, it's free, but why am I on the left when I can just be doing this? And this is actually Sans's idea. Let's just group up. Let's get everyone big. And let's just do what we can. So I'm like, okay, they can't hurt me here. The only one that can hurt me is Sight. He's the only person that can even hit me. So we use our gadgets. We do what we can. Sight with a really poor jump over there. That's, you know, not very Sight tempo of him. And here we have this round one so convincingly I'm not even going to use my super. I want to save it for the next round even though it doesn't matter because I wait to the end and I would get it back anyways. So I'm sold. I'm like alright fine Sans you win. I'll stand over here and just shoot on the right side. And you guys can see they can't do anything to me. He can't walk close to me because he just dies. I would hit him with my power up barley four times and he would go down. So Tensai is trying to get us from the back now. He's trying to get us as fast as he can, but I trap him pretty easily. We get a kill there. Pretty big overextension from Tensai. I don't know if he thought he could live that. Maybe he didn't think I had the power up or what it was, but he goes down. And then once you're in his 3v2, unless you get really outplayed, you win. And I mean, we have the dog bags. We have the power up barley. We have all the HP in the world. So we're just like, this is world finals for us. Like we're going to sit here. We're not doing anything. Moya puts the turret down. I'm like, no, we're not dealing with any of that. Kill the turret. Use the gadget. Because all we need is this round. We don't need anything else. So I shoot the turret twice again. Zar is pretty low. He goes into little form. Sight goes for us. Luckily, we're able to kill Sight. And I'll use my super there because it's the last round. And there we go. That puts us onto set point, which also happens to be match point. And uh, this right side bunker strategy is working out really, really, really well. So we're like, all right, I guess let's do that again. So we walk to the right side and we do the exact, exact same thing. Crazy, I know guys, really, really crazy. But we just sit here, we do our thing and we gain our HP. Now you guys gotta realize that sure, I think we're one of the best land teams in the world. I actually think that in terms of our actual win-loss when it comes to online matches versus LAN, we definitely have the biggest spike. I think we're probably the best LAN team in the world. Not the best team at the LANs, but in terms of improvement, I think we're the best team. So even though we kind of have that going for us, I think, you know, it's just kind of impossible. I wouldn't say that my dream is to beat these guys, but I've had two shots at them. You can ask anyone who's faced these guys. If you can beat them, you become gods. You, This is like the best team in the world. You want to be able to beat the best team in the world. This is not an opportunity that you get all the time. And so we are not nervous, but this is just intense. I don't know. We're able to get Sight Tempo down. Zar goes down. We're able to get the kill over there. And, you know, as nervous as we might be, we need one more knockout round. And then we beat, not just beat, we sweep. The best players in the game. The best team in the game. These guys haven't lost for years. So, here we go. We go into it. 
again right side I'm doing my thing Sands is just standing there the goal is just don't throw don't throw that's all we're telling ourselves don't throw don't throw don't throw because it's not like we got to outskill we just got to not throw that's what a draft diff does that's why it's important to know how to draft that's how you lose some games it's how you win some games um, and they have to show an incredible amount of skill to win this now here in my books I got scammed I don't know how Moya didn't get ticked by that Barley Super. I probably could have thrown it a little bit better, but I still thought he should have died. He stays alive. Uh, it's looking really good for us. We got the dog bags. We're nice and big. We got full HP. Everything is going really well. Uh, we get hit by a lot of shots there. Zara stays up. He goes down. And him going down kind of, I don't know, isn't the best for us. He still gets a kill over there. We throw our Super. Uh, we're able to get Sight. 1v1. Moya versus Sands for the win. They're both one. And Moya hits a clutch shot on sand that guy has got ice these guys i don't know man the pressure never phases them really clean shot really well done and so i'm out of gadgets czar's out of gadgets sands i don't know he used his treat there so it's gonna be a little bit of a tough round but you know we still have the comp diff we still have the advantage so again same strategy we're just bunkering down Zar gets to one shot over there so sans puts his bags down now we're out of treats i mean out of uh gadgets and we really like we really 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 would have liked to have that you guys see my device is kind of breaking down there i'm trying to move but i can't uh i get the treat Zar is just working on getting his mech it's not really a big deal that he doesn't have his mech unless the bonnie has super so without the Bonnie having super, it doesn't really matter. They change their penny turret location because I'm just taking it out way too easy. And Zar going up the left so he can get his super is really smart. Uh, we end up supering out the middle because the smoke is coming. And Tensai tries to go down. Zar gets his super. We're going to be able to take out Moya and Tensai pretty easily. Super sight. And there we go. We beat the best team in the world three nothing like in sandy and you guys can see we're calm but it, we i don't know we are not calm this is just i don't know i've said it to you guys outside of like winning one of these major events this is the next best thing so although we didn't win although we came we fell short which we are really sad about at least we were able to do this insane win this is something that we're gonna have with us our whole brawl career so that's awesome but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. So huge respects to them. Uh, they've always been really, really, really nice to us. And just, they're they're just very nice people. Really awesome players. And great role models for our game. But yeah, GG's to them. That is going to be it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm glad I got to show this to you guys on my uh, kind of first real video back. Because this, this is my competitive peak. So you guys know exactly what this means to me. But with that being said, that's going to be it for us today. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys sticking with the channel. I will see you guys very, very shortly. Believe that. And uh, until then, peace. Hey you. Yes you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.